Yeah, um, I think the first half, I was trying to push the tempo, and in my mind, I was pushing it. I was just moving a little too fast, wasn't letting things slow down, wasn't reading too much, just kind of trying to push. Um, yeah, once we got to the second half, I wasn't pleased with what happened in the first half, so um, I just tried to slow things down, like Coach Menenhall mentioned before. Um, that last drive felt the best. I felt like I was looking over, you know, reading through my reads, seeing everything I needed to see. Um, but yeah, just the, you know, the first game, um, figured we'd come out a little bit faster, but we didn't. And so that's, you know, that's something we got to fix uh, this coming week against Illinois. So when the, when the offense is kind of struggling like that, are you even more appreciative of the defense shutting them out? Because you know, if their <clears throat> offense is scoring, then all of a sudden you're in the hole. Yeah, it turns into a shootout, and I'm happy our defense did that. I mean, that's what their goal is. You know, they said they're going to try to get a shutout every uh, <clears throat> every week, and uh, they did that. And so that takes a lot of stress off us, um, especially when we weren't clicking in the first half. You know, we weren't scoring. They had us defense kept us, you know, twice in like on our 30, and we didn't score there two times. So that was frustrating. Um, but they kept battling. You know, they kept doing their part. Um, and yeah, so we were finally kicked it on and got some points to make it, you know, a little bit easier for them to relax and start playing. Are you eager next week, Brandon, you mentioned Illinois, to test yourselves now against a fellow Power Five? Yeah, it was a good little icebreaker this week. Um, now we started getting to a Power Five, Big Ten Conference with Illinois. Um, yeah, I'm excited just to go, continue to get better this next week, uh, figure out what we need to work on, obviously start faster, and uh, yeah. I'm excited to see what our guys, you know, do next week. Do you like the fact that I mean, you have a comfortable win on the scoreboard, and yet you can come here and, and talk about things that need work? Is, is that a good position to be in? Yeah, I wish. I, the only thing I just, the only thing that bites me is just having the ball in the 30 and not getting points there, it's touchdowns. Um, you know, like we can fix everything else, but that stuff, I just, you know, bites me. So I think just we realized that we started slow. Um, and that's something that we can fix. You know, plays are going to be made. Plays aren't going to be made. That just happens throughout the game. But uh, yeah, just starting fast, I think, is what we need to focus on again. And since we're nitpicking you a little bit, how about the, the deep ball early for Wicks that, that you overshot? Yeah. I mean, in practice, track. yeah, in practice, um, I always told him, I was like, listen, that's going to be a touchdown. And I over underthrew him twice in practice. Underthrew him. I'm not joking. Underthrew him twice. So this time I was like, I'm going to throw this son of a gun out there. and. Uh, yeah, I just overthrew him. So that one hurts too. Um, but yeah. You had that drive. I mean, it was the first touchdown drive, actually, when you hit those two in a row to Wicks. How much did that maybe kind of get you going? Yeah, get Wicks in the game. That's always good. Billy's always a good target for me to get the game started. Um, yeah, I just think with Wicks, he needs that too. I think when we get that rolling, especially with Billy, keep those guys in the game. It's a great thing for our offense. So having those two to start off the game with him was good. Um, yeah, just keeping those guys engaged, always ready to catch the ball is a good thing for our offense. Could you feel maybe, cause you were talking before, you were maybe going a little too fast. Do you, was that maybe a point where you started to slow down a little bit? Yeah, I think, uh, honestly, I really just think the best drive was our last drive. I mean, even though some things came out of the other stuff, I just thought that drive felt the best and how I felt and how I was seeing things. Um, but overall, like I like you said, I think when we get Wixie the ball, rhythm going, that's why I felt like we didn't have a lot was a rhythm. It just felt like maybe a play here, play there, big play there. And those work, you know, those are going to happen. So, and that's what we're trying to do is create big plays. But it just didn't ha I didn't feel like we had a good rhythm the whole night. When they're rotating quarterbacks in and out, they have got you a receiver and everything. Does that help your rhythm? Is it harder to, to get a rhythm when you're out there lining up wide? How does that work? Uh, I mean, I know that the reason why we have those type of plays is because we're designed um, for success with what we're doing. And uh, so, yeah, I just I just do it, what we're doing, and I just kind of go with the long. If I can get a block down the field, if they spring it, um, if I can get a block, I'll try to get one of those. So, Along those same lines, is this a hard offense to, to learn and master for a player with so many different personnel groupings and all that? Uh, just a lot of motions, you know, uh, people obviously see we motion a lot. Um, I don't think it's too hard. Um, I just think you get in the playbook. I mean, I've been here for four years now, so I can say that. But I mean, some of the young guys, I think they've done well with, you know, learning the playbook. And I, we, we've been working with each other a lot. I'm trying to make sure they're prepared because, you know, anytime I could be knocked out. So, I mean, that's just part of the game we play. So I'm just trying to make sure this team's prepared and those guys are ready to go if I go out.
Hey, Brent, you talked about <coughs> the game being fast, trying to slow yourself down, but I did notice this year compared to last that you were very patient in the pocket, going through your progressions, not just first week tucking and running. Was that a, did you emphasize working on that in the offseason? Yeah, and uh, like this game, I'm happy we didn't get any turnovers. That was another big emphasis. Um, you know, I can I can take a sack. You know, I'd rather take a sack than a turnover. And if it's whatever that, however that plays out, um, I'd rather have that. And I'm glad we had uh, zero turnovers on the board tonight. That was the main goal. And uh, yeah, I do feel confident with just reading through stuff. I know the best one I felt was good was when I went across the field to Wixie for a dig. Um, those that felt the best to me going through. I think pocket presence. You know, now I'm able to be hit. You know, practices I'm not getting hit at all. So. Pocket presence, pocket presence will increase, um, and things like that will be better. One more question for Brennan. Go ahead, Nick. I haven't been around as much as most of these guys. What is a, a good number of rush attempts for you in a game? I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I mean. Oh, I don't care. I mean, whatever is working. I know because we got different ways to run it. You know, me, KT, Wayne. You know, just there's a bunch of different things. I'm cool with whatever. If I need a pull it and take it, you know, for the end zone, I'll do that too, like I did tonight. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Um, it's nice to get the ground game going with the running backs just because it helps me out in the passing game and play actions and all that stuff off of it. But, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm just here to win. So if I just got to take more rushing attempts, I will.